Hey guys, it's me Subpanda101 here, and today I'll be showing you the steps I take in learning a new fighter game for the upcoming EVO 2020 series. I'm not a high level player, but I hope these tips can help you improve and bring your fighting game knowledge up to the next level. This is more of a self documentary, but these tips are universal to every fighting game. Have fun, and let's get into it. Creating a simple game plan can seem complex if you consider everything I have spoken about up to this point. However, this can be simplified down to some basic decision making that you can think about. To simplify defense, we're going to attempt an anti-air on the opponent whenever they jump in and combo them. Depending on the character, hitting the opponent in the air like this can also cause a reset opportunity. This strategy protects us from above. From the front, we have a range of pokes to use at different ranges. Light buttons are useful for close up, medium and heavies are also useful for further away. Projectiles are also useful at distance. Push blocking is also important, but it's more of a play for feel aspect of defense, so I won't go into detail here. To simplify offense, we're going to employ simple frame traps and basic mix ups with our characters. These are also character dependent, and depending on the character, certain mix ups will be more effective than others, so researching these is key. Whenever we get a hit on the opponent, we can either take the full damage or perform a reset with our character. Replays can be enabled by using dash enable replays in the launch options. The replay viewer for Skullgirls is good that it allows for slowdown, hitbox viewing and other great tools. When watching back a replay, one of the most important things to think about is where you got hit. Were you mashing buttons and falling for frame traps? Were you getting mixed up? Did you make par decisions in neutral that led to a block string? Try to write down and work on these scenarios in training mode to help you figure out the best options to use in each situation. Character videos are very important if you want to unlock the full potential with your character. These videos can be found by looking up your character on YouTube, or by looking up a player who plays your character. It is also a good idea to check YouTube to find recent mages and see if a player plays your character. Thanks for watching week 3 of my Road to Evo series. I'm taking a small break next week to hone my skills. In the meantime, please comment what you want to see in my next video. I'll go over the most suggested topic. EVO 2020 signups are now open and the game is being played on the Steam PC version, which is the version used in this video. Thanks for watching and good luck out there.